I am turning $10,000 into $1 million from my phone in 234 days. Possible? I guess there's only one way to find out. During quarantine last year, I started reading a lot more books and one book in particular changed my outlook on life. The book is called Atomic Habits. No, it's not a brain deal, it's just the backstory why I'm starting this challenge. In this book, the author states that no matter how big your goal is, all you have to do is improve 1% every single day to achieve your goal. Yes, just 1%. By doing so, you technically improve day by day by 1%, 1.1, and it adds up, and after a couple of months, you probably have doubled the skill or knowledge in whatever goal you have, or in this case, the money you invested in first. So now that I've established where I got the idea from, let's talk numbers. I made a spreadsheet starting with 10,000 US dollars, multiplying it by 2% and did that all the way down to $1 million. The number of trades I have to do, you probably have guessed it, it's in the title, 234 days or 234 trades. Because if I don't trade for a couple days, I have to, you know, make those trades someday. So after establishing that number, I opened up a Binance account, funded that account with $10,000 and started trading. Unfortunately, I didn't document every single trade from $10,000 to $12,000 because back then I just wanted to do it for myself. But then January 1st happened and I was like, why don't I just record everything and document everything? Maybe I fail miserably and then you don't have to try that at home. Or I actually make it happen and in 234 days, which is September 7th, I will be a millionaire. I started trading in December 2020 and I made my first $2,305 in that month which motivated me to start filming the rest of the journey. After the first successful month, I started another spreadsheet documenting every single trade that I made so I can follow my own rules and I don't hope for a Dogecoin to explode and give me a 1000% return. So I created a new spreadsheet documenting every single trade that I made. That way I keep myself accountable for everything that I do and I don't start betting and guessing and hoping. Like I wanna follow my rules and make this journey actually happen. And I already have numbers for you guys. In January, 2021, I made $2,155, which signifies a 16.33% increase of my investment from January. From February 1st till today, which is the 20th, I made, let me see, $4,926, which is 33.69% from the starting point from February. In total, I increased my portfolio by 55% in 2020 so far. So I'm off to a good start, I guess. Now you can argue and say, Johannes, why didn't you just leave the $10,000 in Bitcoin in November 2020 was, I'm not sure what it was around, but like definitely way less than it is now. And I would have probably made a bigger profit by just leaving it in there. But that's not the topic of this video. I wanted to actively day trade my $10,000 investment up to $1 million, um, no matter if the if Bitcoin goes up or goes down. Before I talk about how I made $9,000 off of my phone in roughly 50 days, I, I have to say, and I, I really, I have to say the following. I am not a financial advisor. I'm gonna say that one more time. I am not a financial advisor. I have no degrees or no certifications in the financial industry. I don't know nothing about it. You should not follow my lead. I'm not trying to sell you anything here. This is for entertainment purposes only. I repeat, entertainment purposes only. So why do I trade cryptocurrencies and not regular stock? I love cryptocurrency for one reason. It is very volatile and has a high volume. Those are two things that I love if I want to day trade or swing trade. The more people trade that coin, the better it is. The more volatile that coin is, the better it is for me. As I mentioned before, in the book that I read, it states you only have to increase or improve by 1% per day. I want to speed things up and I want to improve by 2% every single day. So to make that very clear, all I wanted from this journey was 2% a day. Not 10, not 15, not 150, two. That's it, no more, no less. Why not more, you ask? Because I need to be disciplined in order to succeed with this challenge. Consistency and discipline will be my two big foundations to actually survive in this game. Trust me, there's a lot of emotion involved and sometimes you like, you know, 
you get greedy and you want to follow and you it just goes up and up and you're like i'm gonna stay in there i'm gonna take all that profit and then all of a sudden because it's crypto and you're like Oopsie daisy. So chasing a coin up can ruin you within seconds and I don't wanna take that risk. I obviously leave a lot of money on the table by not taking the 10 or 15 or 20% when the opportunity is given. But as I said before, I wanna create a habit of just taking 2% because I know in 234 days, I will be a millionaire anyway. So here we go. I started trading when BNB coin, Binance coin was $30. By the way, now it is around $300. Yeah, I could have just held that and that would have made me $120,000. And right now I'm at 20. I know that. <laughs> so here's what I did. I purchased $10,000 worth of Binance at the price of $30. I would then multiply the $30 by 1.035%, which brings the value up to 31.05. Why 3.5% you honest? Because I wanna take my 2%, but Binance has a fee as well for each trade. The more you trade, the lower the fees. I'm finally a little bit higher because I traded way more, but um, it's important to calculate the fees into your own trade because otherwise you will just have your two percent and then they take the cut and you're like why am i left with 1.85 percent what happened to the rest so be smart with it understand the fees before you start trading that was the first trade and i just did the same trade over and over and over and over again until i hit my nineteen thousand dollars did you always trade with ten thousand and keep the rest no i always invested a hundred percent of my money so the first trade was ten thousand dollars the second trade was ten thousand two hundred dollars the the next trade was then 200 and 404. So it always gets more and more and more because you use your full investment every single time. Now we've established all of that. Um, here are some rules that I set for myself. Again, I'm not, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not saying this is the golden rule. These are my perfect rules for myself because I know myself and I don't want to fall into a trap where I know, oh shit. I just did that because of some emotions, because I'm like, I'm chasing something or I don't want to do this. So now these are my rules. Number one, take a maximum of 2% per trade, which technically means get in, get out very fast because I want to avoid the risk of a, a crash where I lose, I don't know, 50% of my investment. Number two, only buy in when the charts are favorable. What does that mean? That means do your analysis, look at the charts, look at the patterns, don't buy in just because you see a lot of green. Analyze it first, see what ha what's happening, and then make a wise decision and be like, okay, this is good, this is bad. For example, do not invest if there's a death cross in the middle of the chart. You don't want to do that. And then on the other hand, when you see a golden cross, all of a sudden you're like, oh yeah, baby, this is what I like. And then you go in, take your 2%, you're out, and you're like, molto bene. And number three, do not, and I repeat, do not not set a buy order before you go to bed. This is a mistake I made once and I will never do it again. <coughs> See, even my, even my body rejects it. I set a buy order before I went to bed and I fell asleep before the buy order was completed. The next morning, guess what the coin did? it dropped 25% below my order. And by the way, it got filled 100%. So I was stuck in that coin for two days. It's not too bad, it recovered, luckily. But I made the mistake of setting something and just being off hands. Day trading, swing trading is not off hands. You gotta be, be there, see it, see the trade, go in, go out, relax. Focus, go in, go out, relax. Focus, go in, <laughs> you know what I mean. Just focus, don't hope for anything and be like, yeah, overnight it's gonna explode 30%. I'm gonna save 40 days of my entire journey. No, these are my three rules. I set them for myself very specifically. Um, I'm very happy with the progress so far. As of right now, I have 200 trades left before I can call myself a Bitcoin millionaire. Technically a and b millionaire. It doesn't sound as good. So Bitcoin millionaire. I'm planning on updating you guys every Monday, which from now on is gonna be the Money Monday. Yeah, Money Monday. It's kinda cool.
I like that. I will update you guys with all the good things that I did, with all the bad things that I did. So, you know, you can learn from the good things. You can avoid the bad things that I did. And yeah. All right, guys. Better get to work.